Hello friends, I am Ashwin. In this video, I will show you how you can destroy your opponent when your opponent plays England Gambit against you. So what exactly the England Gambit is and how you can destroy? Be with me. Pawn to d4, that is what white plays and after pawn to e5, which is known as England Gambit. Here, black is sacrificed a pawn and just to take the follow with knight to c6 and queen to e7 in order to attack white's e5 pawn and hoping for some counter play. But friends, believe me, when your opponent offers you a center pawn, you should always take it. So after pawn capture on e5, believe me, this black is having no counter play and this pawn is lost here. White is having an extra pawn and he would be having, soon would be having a nice game. So knight to c6, knight to f3 defending e5 and now queen to e7 attacking e5 once more. And here his idea is if white plays this bishop to f4, then he can play this queen to b4 check which attacks this bishop, king and the b2 pawn. So we cannot save everything. So how would you protect this e5 pawn? Or will you play something else? Friends, here we will play this bishop to f4. And black might be laughing aloud because he thought that you are in his trap. But believe me, actually, he's in your trap. So queen to b4 check. And now if you play queen to d2, then queen captures b2 is winning for black. You cannot play now queen to c3 to cover this rook on a1 because of this bishop to b4 which pins your queen and black is winning here so of course you should not play queen to d2 so what else we play here this bishop to d2 and point is that after queen capture b2 again friends many white players play this bishop to c3 and try to attack the queen and cover this rook on even but friends this is not the correct move and in fact bishop c3 is a big big blunder here black is completely winning he can play this move bishop to b4 you cannot take the queen because this bishop is pinned so say bishop capture on b4 then simply knight capture on b4 and now you cannot meet each and every threat like queen capture rook and knight capture c2 you have to sacrifice your knight on a3 in order to cover all the threat and after queen capture on a3 in fact it is black who won the piece and the game so this is completely winning for black so why i said that you can destroy your opponent when he is playing england gambit friends you played this move bishop to c3 and that is why all the tricks of england gambit will work in this position we will play this knight to c3 very innocent move but having a lot of tricks and traps in this position and now believe me black is completely lost here he cannot save the game if you follow my suggestion in this position even if it looks uh, a very you know innocent move just developing a piece covering the rook but it sets it sets up many tricks first i am going to play this rook to b1 and after that queen to a3 is the only option and knight to b5 which hits the queen on a3 and also hits the pawn on c7 from where it can fork this king and the rook so of course white is winning here say you are playing uh, like knight to e7 then i will show you what is the threat is uh, rook to b1 queen to a3 and now knight to b5 attacking the queen and also attacks this pawn on c7 and therefore White is winning. Of course, queen to a5 is not possible because of bishop capture a5. Queen to c5 has to play and now knight capture c7, king d8 and knight capture rook and white is winning. So instead this uh, knight to e7, black can play this queen to b6, removing the queen from the threat. But friends, then you can play this move knight to d5. Of course, b5 is the only no, not only square from where you can attack this c7 there is one more square and that is d5 so after queen to c5 again we can repeat the same knight capture c7 king d8 and now knight capture 8 is completely winning but friends in this position black is having two good option and which are the main option one is knight to b4 and another is bishop to b4 
I will show you how you can win against both of two. Now, first we will look at knight to b4. With this uh, knight to b4, black is threatening knight capture on c2 and we have to sacrifice our queen and that is the only option to protect our king, I mean to save the check. So this is dangerous threat but friends, here we can play this knight to d4 very calmly protecting this uh, c2 square and now we are threatening this uh, rook to b1 and then simply knight to b5 followed by knight capture c7 and winning the rook on a8 so say he is trying this uh, queen to a3 then we will play this knight to b5 attacking the queen and also the c7 square so queen to a5 and it seems that uh, black can defend everything but friends in this position what about this knight? This knight is pinned. So now we can play this pawn to a3 move. And knight cannot move. Otherwise queen will lost. And say you are playing this a6 a bit tricky move than simply pawn capture on b4. And of course you cannot take the knight first with the pawn because your queen is hanging. So say queen to b6. And now we will play pawn to e3. Of course we need to protect this knight from uh, uh, on d4. If we move our knight uh, from b5 to somewhere like uh, a3 or c3 then simply queen capture d4 and black is in the game. But with this move, a simple move pawn to a3 protecting this knight on d4. On the next move I can play this uh, knight to a3 or knight to c3 and white would be having an extra piece and black is having no counter play against it. Of course you cannot take my knight on b5 otherwise rook capture a8 is even disaster. So. This is completely winning for white with an extra piece, this position. So of course after knight to d4, black cannot do this uh, queen a3. What else black can play? Black can play this c5 move. Attacking the knight, covering this uh, knight once more. And the idea is that if you move the knight from d4, uh, then uh, you can simply take on c2 and black is winning but friends in this position we are having an intermediate move that is rook to b1 and after queen to a3 I can play this knight to b5 but now this knight on b4 is not gonna be pinned because this knight on c3 is in between but right now he has to defend this knight capture a3 and knight to c7 so he has to play this move queen to a5 and friends in this position again pawn on a3 is the winning move of course uh, there is no immediate pin but if he moves the knight say knight to c6 and then we can just move our knight to d5 a discover attack against the queen and white is winning i mean he cannot protect both this uh, uh, attacking i mean saving the queen and knight capture c7 on the next move and in this position he has to play this queen a4 whereupon we can play this knight c7 check king to d8 and then winning this rook here and white is completely winning if he plays say queen to d8 uh, which is even worse because of knight c7 and black has to sacrifice the queen so queen capture c7 and knight capture c7 followed by knight capture a8 and white is just completely winning here no doubt about it so what he can do after this a3 move friends in this position he can play this knight to a6 and this is a bit tricky move because this c7 square has been guarded by this knight so black is in no worry to lose the rook here so he can play this queen to d8 on a next move guarding this uh, uh, c7 square once more and therefore uh, I mean he is having no issue it might be still winning for white because black is having some development issue I mean he cannot develop his piece so easily for example this bishop or the knight or this bishop and therefore the rook but friends we have here very neat and clean move to win this game and that is not knight to d5 but knight to e4 idea is now this c7 square 
uh, we we don't want to penetrate it on c7 square but we will penetrate it through this uh, d6 square and this is really uh, deadly for example you are playing this queen to d8 move and now comes this bishop to g5 so this queen can having access via d file if you play f6 friends then here comes this queen d5 beautiful move you can't take my bishop otherwise simply knight to d6 and after bishop takes on d6 knight capture on d6 king to e7 and queen to f7 is just checkmate so after bishop to g5 you cannot take uh, i mean you cannot play this f6 move so what you can play here knight to e7 and then knight to d6 one move checkmate so even you cannot play that move so what about this bishop to e7 but friends now we can play this move knight to d6 i mean any knight but i prefer this knight e to d6 and once uh, this uh, king moves to f8 square we can simply play this queen to d5 and now knight to h6 just to stop this checkmate so knight h6 then simply bishop capture h6 and after pawn capture h6 queen capture f7 would be met so what he can do is to play bishop capture d6 but we can play this knight capture on d6 again threatening this checkmate so king to e7 is forced here comes this bishop capture on g7 king takes g7 then simply knight to f5 and winning the queen so king to g8 is the only move then comes this bishop to h6 friend and now on a next move i can do this uh, a knight to e4 followed by knight to f6 and checkmate say you are playing rook b8 then i am having some another idea that is to play rook to b3 and rook to g3 too and that would lead to checkmate so this is completely winning and therefore when your opponent is playing this knight to b4 what you supposed to do is first play knight to d4 covering this c2 square and followed by rook to b1 and knight to b5 and you will get a really really great game so this is what all about a knight to b4 and now on a next clip i mean in the same clip we will see this uh, bishop to b4 another move and now we will see this bishop to b4 move what we should play here first rook to b1 our usual idea and once queen to a3 then simply this knight to d5 this time because if you go knight to b5 then you can simply go uh, queen to a5 and black is having no issue i mean uh, in case of bishop capture b4 he can simply play knight capture b4 and even he can also threatens this uh, knight capture c2 check so now knight to d5 and friends in this position queen to f5 is not good move because of this knight capture b4 and white is having two more attack against this uh, b4 square so we are winning a piece here so therefore here black is having two good option one is to capture this uh, uh, bishop and another is to play this uh, bishop to a5 if bishop to a5 then we will play this rook to b5 attacking the bishop and threatening bishop capture a5 whereupon black has to take with uh, knight capture on a5 and we can simply take uh, with uh, uh, knight to c7 for example i am showing you uh, knight to e7 then i can even afford this uh, rook capture a5 because if i take now bishop capture a5 then simply knight capture d5 might be so rook capture a5 and of course queen capture a5 is not possible but he has to take with the knight and after which i can simply play knight capture c7 king d8 and knight capture a8 is just winning for white so after rook to b5 we can try this bishop to b6 whereupon we can simply take rook capture b6 and after pawn takes on b6 knight capture c7 check king to d8 and now knight capture a8 and after queen capture a8 
friends in this position white is having two bishop one extra pawn and black king cannot castle so i guess this is enough for win and believe me this is really winning uh, this is a winning position for white with an extra piece and the position so black uh, don't want to play this kind of position so what he can try something else is uh, bishop capture on d2 and this is really testing here you, you should play queen capture on d2 and now we are threatening this uh, knight capture on c7 so queen capture a2 can be played because if knight capture c7 then queen capture a b1 and even black is winning so we'll play this rook to b1 and now king to d8 so no more knight capture c7 and black is having an extra pawn and particularly this a file pawn is passer so what do you think whose position is better here white or black friends in this position even white is better because of his development lead queen and rook just are on a d file attacking against this weak d7 so at uh, some point of time i can play this pawn to e6 another thing is that my both knight are developed and i just need one more move to develop this bishop and game would be over very soon so what is the immediate threat which i can raise here and that is a knight to g5 and now i am attacking this knight capture f7 and of course he cannot take a knight capture e5 and hoping for this uh, f7 pawn has been covered by this knight on e5 because i can play this queen to c3 and he cannot defend everything i mean queen capture c7 is threat queen capture e5 is threat and knight capture f4 uh, f7 is threat say he is playing uh, uh, i mean play this move pawn to f6 attacking my knight then i can play this queen to c5 not even need to take this uh, c7 i can i am going to play this queen to f8 and that would be checkmate so say pawn to d6 then queen capture c7 now king to e8 and now queen capture g7 and friends this position is completely winning for white i mean on the next move i can take this rook and then the knight and so position is really 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 great for me so this is winning so knight capture e5 is not question here he can play this move knight to h6 here but here comes a beautiful move really amazing pawn to e6 so basically you cannot take with any pawn if uh, e capture i mean d capture e6 then this uh, discover check wins the queen and if you play pawn capture i mean f capture e6 then this knight capture e6 with the same idea and even this is a check and if you save the check say on e8 then knight capture c7 followed by winning the rook so if he takes and then again this knight to b4 discover check and white is winning of course queen to d5 is not possible because of this knight capture d5 even so this is winning so what else he can do in this position after e6 of course he cannot take the pawn in either way he has to play this d6 move whereupon we can play this pawn to e7 or even pawn capture f7 and friends in this position i mean what black will play all black pieces are still sleeping and white pawn is on the seventh rank my my two knights are very active on the next move i can play this uh, pawn to e4 at any point of time then moving my bishop so this position is a totally winning for white if you uh, try and play against your friends or anyone you can see that this position is in, is winning i mean black is in a no position to develop any piece i am showing you one line for example he try this uh, rook to f8 then friends comes knight capture c7 i am attacking his rook and after king takes i can simply take on d6 with check followed by queen capture f8 and even after pawn capture on f7 knight capture c7 is the real threat and there is no good defense against it of course you can play this uh, queen to f5 but i can simply try this pawn on c3 and now rook f8 can be made by a knight capture h7 and after rook capture on f7 we have this uh, knight g5 back again 
or even this pawn to e4 followed by developing my bishop and black's queen side pieces uh, i mean black needs uh, so many moves to develop his uh, rook of queen side and therefore white position is really really good i show you the line say knight to g5 a rook to f8 back and now simply pawn to g3 i want to develop my bishop here or even pawn to e4 and white's position is really good so friends and uh, that's it how was the video i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like the video and if you are having any issue in playing uh, against this England Gambit, just let me know. I will definitely help you. You can uh, post me a comment in a comment box. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.